Hi everyone. For the next little morsel we're going to do, um, I was thinking that we could make some inchies. I have always wanted to make inchies and I've never done it. So this is going to be one of those things that's actually a first for me as well. So I'm going to start with, well actually let me, let me go back. I was going to have everyone make some painted papers and I was gonna, you know, paint on some papers and I realized, gosh, I have so many painted papers, I would like to use what I already have. And somebody commented on one of my videos recently, I'm, and I'm sorry, I can't remember uh, who it was, but she had suggested that my wipe up cards that I use would make good um, inchy backgrounds. And so I was like, you know, that is so true and I, decided to use some index cards. So thank you, whoever that was. That was a wonderful idea. So I just got out a handful of these that are basically just wipe up type cards or like this one was stenciled and jelly printed maybe. And um, that one's a, a stencil maybe on the jelly plate, like a ghost print. This was one that I did um, with some neon colors, I think, when I was making those uh, shaving cream prints. Some more jelly printed and then stamped and stenciled on. This one is just wipe up paint. This one is just wipe up paint. And this one is just wipe up paint also. So I'm gonna just take these and I'm not gonna chop them all up into one inch squares. By the way, inches, for those of you who don't know, inches are one by one inch squares. So what we're gonna create on is this little tiny square. <laughs> it's one inch by one inch. And they look so cool when they're done. Um, and you can do so much, so many different types of things on them to make them your own. And uh, I thought they would make really cool embellishments to put on our little journal pages. Or, um, you could just line them up on a page and actually create a background with the inches. So this one is a piece of a jelly print and I just had taken it out because I was, I needed to see the size, uh, what they're gonna look like. So I'm gonna go and I'm, like I said, I'm not gonna cut these all up completely. I'm just gonna cut like a one inch strip and then I'll have like, you know, three pieces out of this card and three pieces out of this card and then I'll just have a handful to excuse me, to play around with, okay? So, but first I'm gonna cut just the strip and we'll we'll do a little bit to the strip and then we'll cut it into the little one inch square. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I decided to cut them at the three inch mark and then after I do some more stuff to them, whatever I decide, then I'll cut into a uh, one inch strips on that. This is the remaining piece and it is two inches, because the index card is three by five, so this is two inches. And out of this uh, stack, I can make some twinchies, which are two by two squares. And they're used for the same purpose for embellishing and swapping and all that kind of, th all that kind of thing. So I'll have these ready to go to make twinchies out of. But I left these bigger because <clears throat> what you do is, um, and like I said, I haven't done this myself, so this is brand new for me. Um, there's lots of videos uh, on YouTube that um, show how twin twinchies are made, I'm sure. I, I've only seen a couple myself, and um, the most recent one was Eileen McInnes, Eileen McInnes's video. And um, I'll put a link to her inches. She did one on inches and twinchies in one video. And I'll put a link to that right up here in the iCard, right in the corner right here. And also in my description, I'll put, I'll put the link there as well. And so what you do is you just take your painted papers or cards. You can use, you know, thicker paper like, um, like watercolor paper or the back of a cereal box, you know, you can gesso it and, and then paint it. You can use any kind of papers that you wanna use. 
And then you just take these and, you know, you mark them up. You use stamps or stencils. Um, these I've already done some of that kind of thing on. Like this one, I might want to put a little something, maybe something white on that one. Um, but like this one has already been stenciled and stamped just a little bit, so I'll I'll put very little more on that one. But as we go along, you'll just, you know, you'll see I'm just going to put a little bit. Now, you're probably going to want some small size stamps. I've got a couple here. One is Prima and one is Basic Gray. Um, you just want something small or with a small pattern because these are so, so little. And, uh, I think I'm gonna use this one. This one was one of my favorite little stamps for background texture. I love this little thing. I forgot to get my block. Be right back. Okay. Get my little stamp block here and my ink I'm not going to do exactly the same on all of them which is why I got out a couple of sets of stamps but I'll do the same stamp on you know two or three of them in different places okay I might wait on that one because I might put a little bit of paint on it. So, um, see, maybe I can half this one up with another one. There we go. <laughs> okay. Might put a little bit more on that one in a minute. This one can use a couple. All right. I said I wasn't going to put the same thing on all of them, and I'm sitting here putting the same one on all of them. <laughs> okay. Now let's see. Um, let's get this ink up so it doesn't get all over everything else. I kind of wanted to use some white here. What do I want to do here? Maybe, maybe some lines. You can take something like um, a piece of corrugated cardboard. This is a small corrugate on here from a coffee sleeve and you can use that you can see I've used this before um, to stamp lines and for these inches I cut a small strip and I left a little tab on it that I could hold on to and then I'll just stamp with this this piece here so it will um, so it'll be smaller and not not giant size we don't need a giant size stamp on these tiny little cards so just gonna put a little bit of white paint here and uh, actually I want to drag that out a little so it's not so thick like that and then I can do some little well Some little marks on there. There we go. And you just turn it back and forth and you can make a little grid out of it. Okay. That's good. It gives it a little bit of something brighter on there. <clears throat> I'll let that dry for a few minutes while I work on some of these other ones. 
Let's see. <clears throat> Here we are. A little tiny leaf like a branchy uh, branchy leaf a leafy branch that might be cute It's the first time I've used it. <laughs> yep, that's cute. Hmm. One moment. Got a little one here that's uh, a little flag with a star in the middle. I don't know if it's actually on a pole or if that's something separate. Let's see. No, it's by itself. Okay. This is a set of um, like, um, it says pen pals. So it's like uh, mailing and stuff like that, postal, postal type thing. And it's from Pink Paisley, so it's got some cute little small stamps. Actually, this one right here is a little bit smaller. Hmm. I think I'll use the little one. It's got a heart in the middle. <laughs> That's going to be kind of dark. Let's see. I mean, this is a kind of dark card, so we'll see how it looks. It's not too bad. Might be able to color that hard in <clears throat> with a Posca pen, white Posca pen. And then it'll look um, better. Not so dark. So this card by itself, each card of these will make nine inches um, by itself. So we'll just, I'll just be using, you know, like one of each, from each color, you know, set. If you don't have stamps, uh, you can certainly just doodle some little images all over the cards just randomly like I'm doing here. There's no rhyme or reason to this. It's just wherever. 
because they're going to be all cut up into little one inch squares and and <clears throat> the random the, the, the images the stamps will just fall wherever they happen to fall and they're cut got these cut into little one inch squares and look how cute they are <laughs> I haven't even done anything to them yet and I think they're so cute I love it when you take a piece of painted paper and you cut it into tiny little pieces it just totally changes it to me I mean look at this that's just amazing to me how it takes on a whole like a completely different look is the one with the little black leaves I just think they're so neat I was using I was trying out this um, uh, pit pen to see if I wanted to use this to go around the edge and I do want to use it but I practiced on this uh, this is a little inchy piece that I had cut out of um, a piece of sheet music that I had um, jelly printed or stenciled something like that on and look how cute this is that's painted on the music note paper and then a black outline that is just so cute I love that so anyway this is a little bit thinner than these uh, cards but I still love it <laughs> I still love it I'm gonna put it right here so I can look at it <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to take the uh, the black pit pen and go around the edges and then I'm going to put on put stuff onto these to embellish them just a little bit. I've got some really old old stickers that are really small that I can choose from, you know, stuff I want to put on to these little um, inchies. So anyway, you can use little stickers or you can also use images from magazines. Like you can find tiny little things in magazines that you normally would overlook. So just thumb through your magazines and get you some little small, small images. I've got some small ones here cut out, but I think I'm gonna save them for the twinchies. See, these are very small images. This is a heart made with a, like a thumbprint and a little flower and um, there's a little umbrella and a beach ball here's one that's um, a little roses in a vase here's a light bulb I mean these just come out of magazines basically there's also check junk mail and flyers and coupons all kinds of things have little images on them that you can use little flowers and things like that and make sure while you're looking to to start collecting some little tiny words too because eventually we're going to make some cool little complete uh, art journal pages I hope in our little books and um, this way you'll already have some words on hand when it's time to do those so start looking for those now and collecting them and um, and then you'll have a bunch of stuff to choose from when it's time to actually make a art journal page um, in your little books. So that was something else I wanted to show you. Okay, so now I'm going to just go ahead and outline these little inches. And you can use any marker. You can use a Sharpie. 
you might want to use something permanent like this is a permanent ink when it's dry um, in case you decide to go over them with some Mod Podge or something like that then the uh, black won't run all over your work. You can make your borders different colors too if you want. They don't have to be black. They can be blue or pink or whatever you want. And keep in mind that all of these videos, you guys, are just to give you ideas. You don't have to follow them to the letter at all. And, um, you know, just let your own creativity flow and do whatever you feel like is right for your particular project, okay? That's the fun of it. You know, just um, figuring out, you know, for yourself what you want to do. And if you don't, you know, want to do that or, you, or you're not able to figure out something on your own, by all means, just do what I'm doing. Because if you copy someone, that's perfectly fine because it gets your own creative juices flowing. So, by all means, do what I'm doing. If you can't do anything else, do that. I really, really love them. I knew I would. That's why I'd been wanting to do them, and I just had not had a chance to just stop and do it, you know. So I'm glad for this opportunity. You can also use buttons. You know, get, a, get small buttons, and you can uh, attach those with like a glue dot or with regular glue. That's fine. There's a pretty flower with a rhinestone in the in the middle.
So here's a close-up for you of the, uh, the little inchies. Aren't they just the cutest little teeny tiny pieces of art? <laughs> I love them. <laughs> I'm thinking this is just so cool. All right, so um, now I want to see um, how they might look in, uh, in my little book or, you know, on one of my pages. So I'm going to move the camera back up and I'll be right back. Okay, here's my book, and I, that was the last, the last pages I did, and this is not actually from my book, but I'm keeping it in my book, so I cut it down to the size here, so I'll probably put the inches on the back side of the brown um, tissue texture back, background, so set that up here, and I'll probably paint this. Um, hmm, trying to decide. Let's see, I'll put these in the middle. My book is just about three, like three and a quarter inches wide, something like that, almost. So. You know, I might have gotten four rows of these on here, but because I think it's four or something, but I didn't really want to have them back to back, really. Hmm. So now I've got to figure out how I want to do this. Maybe stagger them just a little, just to display them on a page is all I'm all I'm really thinking of, about doing. That's kind of cute. What color do I want to do the back, uh, paint the background there? I was thinking black. Um, if I do that, these little frames are going to blend right into the background. Unless, unless I maybe do dots around the, on the frame. Little white dots, I mean. Hmm. I could just do a different color background. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do like a, um, what is this? This is spa blue. I could do something like that on the background. Just put them all down on top of that. Hmm. Okay. I guess I could do that. Um, but I do have this brown stuff. I don't know if that blue is going to cover it. I think I'll put just a little bit of white there just to help cover that. And then I'll put the blue on top. think I want to put something on the background though like it seems like it's a little bit plain I don't want a lot on the background because it's it's going to be busy enough with the little inches on it but I do want something there okay I think I'm going to stencil some dots on this page in just a little bit darker shade and um, see if I like that. If I don't, I can always paint over it and change it. It's not a big deal.
little um, playful little page. And every every one of us that does this is going to have a completely different looking page, I'm sure. Because we're going to all have different painted backgrounds and we're going to all have different stickers or embellishments or magazine images that we're going to put on it. So it's just going to be so fun to see what everybody does. I'm looking forward to it. All right, so now all I need to do is attach these and we're gonna have an inchy page. put a coat of Mod Podge on it or a collage podge. I think I'll use collage podge this time. Just to make it really vibrant and um, and nice. And the Mod Podge is, or excuse me, the collage podge is going to also <clears throat> help hold the, um, the stickers down and keep them in place. go our inchy page so I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, get started on your inchies right away and I'll be looking forward to uh, seeing them and that's not to say that you have to do them right away just whenever it works out for you but I'm just anxious to see what you guys do <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be back again soon. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Okay, the more I thought about it, the more I wanted some white on these frames. So I did start putting the dots on the frame, and I wanted to, uh, to show you what I was doing. I like that a lot better. So cute. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have fun with your inchies. Bye-bye.